I grew up in the South. I saw no depiction of anybody that looked like me in any books. And so I grew up as a, a child dreaming and trying to figure out, so am I invisible? Who am I? Where do I fit in all of this? So how do you do it? How do you start a bookstore where the premise is most of the books are written by African-American authors? And, and so it's always been in my soul to house, to present and preserve the history of the African diaspora. The way I did it was I would go around to the local bookstores and just sit at the feet of the owners to find out how they did it. I went to Miss Una, who was the owner of the Liberation Bookstore. Everybody knew about that bookstore because she had rare books that you would just not find anywhere in the world. So I got started on the shoulders of folk who already were in the, the book business. This is like a passion project. So it was like whether we were making hundreds of thousands of dollars or two dollars, she was here. The irony of it is I'm a healthcare professional. I was working full time as a surgical PA when the idea was birthed. And so I had to try to figure out how I was gonna work full time and then open a business. I was somebody that she could trust to be, you know, in the space. It was kind of fascinating to me to know that there was so much literature that was just available and that I just was opened up to. Unfortunately, of COVID and what happened with Black Lives Matter, what we did was to start quickly an online business that flourished. We were getting calls from the UK, Australia, from Europe, do you ship books here? Can you ship any information on black discord and the parallel of past and present authors? It was an awakening. People were left with themselves. You couldn't come outside. You can't do this, you can't do that. So we were forced to read. And so I think we became a beacon of light where we are healing through literacy. But it took us 20 years to break even. Her legacy will definitely be as a community, um, I guess I can use the word activist. It's not necessarily like, you know, she's out marching the streets, but this is a different level of activism where, you know, you are making sure that your community is strong in mind and spirit. We basically made it on folk who really love literacy, love books, they love the fact that this store has existed for long, as long as it has, and they make sure that they find a way to support us. So it's been the loving support of the people who started with us 20 years ago that we continue to exist.